Welcome back to Montana This Morning. Joining us now live in studio, we have School District 2 Superintendent Dr. Erwin Garcia. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you, um, We're looking forward to school year kicking off next week. Uh, first off, tell us first day, uh, what, what are you expecting for, for the first day? What do parents, teachers, kids need to know? So our teachers are reporting on August 17th and our students are reporting on August 22nd. We are very excited about this year. Um, about the new things that we're bringing, some of the safety features that will enhance uh, the work around schools. Okay, excellent. And um, we were just chatting a little bit for the interview. You've got kind of four main priorities. You're coming into a new district, just moving from Texas. Welcome yes. to Montana, by Thank the you. way. Glad the move's gone well. Um, you're looking at uh, getting a fresh set of eyes on School District 2. What are the kind of your top priorities headed into the school yeah. year? So my top priority is really respond to what I've been able to find out with the community and community meetings and various stakeholders. Number one is school safety. That's a prime priority. I'm a parent of two, so I know how important it is for us to provide safety in a safety environment. And safety is not only a matter of people trying to hurt the school, but also a matter of mental health. And I think we have to address this issue from both perspectives. So we're working to enhance um, our social, emotional, and mental health support for our students and also to increase and to align the support from uh, our local law enforcement, our SROs that are supporting our, our building. So we're doing all sorts of safety audits and safety walks to ensure that we have a great uh, first day of school. And that's one of the priorities, but there's three more. One is to definitely increase the quality of instruction. I mean, uh, it's, it, it is a fact, I have to say it, we are the lowest performing AA district. So of the AA districts, eight, we're the lowest performing. And I don't think that's acceptable for a beautiful city and such a dynamic city such as Billings. We must be the best district in the state of Montana. So I'm committed to ensuring that with our principals and teachers, we present the best quality education to our children. Another priority is enhancing career and college opportunities. Okay. Um, we're Honestly, we're behind. Uh, most uh, states in the nation offer students the possibility of obtaining an associate's degree by the time they graduate from, from high school. So two things when you graduate from high school, your high school diploma and an associate's degree, that is something that we want to bring forward to the board uh, on August 21st as a consolidated plan of attack. We also would like to expand our career center because not, not all kids want to, be, to go to four-year college. And, they rightly can achieve greatly if they join the workforce, if they learn a skill, if they have certifications for the future. So those are three preeminent, and um, there's also a, a, an emphasis on supporting teachers because when, what we learn from our survey is that somehow the community feels that there's a disconnect between Lincoln Center mm -hmm. and teachers and teaching that should be the, the focal point of, the, of what we do. It's not transportation, not food services. Those things matter. But at the end of the day, what really matters is the moment in time when a teacher is in front of the class teaching on grade level material and bringing students that are they have gaps to that on grade level status and to push students that already learn the content, that are ready for more, so they can be accelerated. So I think those four things that we've been able to learn from the community are the priorities that we're going to move forward and with those a series of goals and and uh, aspirations that we will be presenting to the community after we consult with the board uh, on next Monday. Next Monday okay yeah. so what is a good a good way for community members uh, parents even, even teachers to kind of engage with these new ideas as you're um, kind of you know like rolling out some some new initiatives for the yeah, district? That's a great question so we have planned for the entire semester Every Tuesday, starting on September 5th, we will be meeting our community throughout the city. So we selected the schools. That information is going to be publicized after Monday, uh, waiting for the board to consolidate that calendar. Our goal is to be in all areas of the city, and I have various topics, and my four priorities uh, will be presented to the community as well uh, on all those centers. But I'm adding one thing to the agenda and that is um, use and uh, drug use and abuse. Okay. I think that that's a pandemic is affecting uh, many of our children. Unfortunately, it starts with vaping, it starts with cigars, and all of a sudden it escalates. 
And that definitely affects the brain and affects the mind. And mental health issues are increasing. And in, in, something that is added to that problem is drug addiction. So we are going to be also bringing that to the forefront on our meetings every Tuesday, starting on September 5th. We're going to start at the West High School okay. at, from 6 to 7.30. So all of the meetings will be from 6 to 7.30. So give ample time to our parents and teachers that want to join us so they can be engaged and have these conversations. Okay, we'll make sure that information is posted so you can see um, yes. how and where to engage on those issues um, and those topics. Um, also, the district is recruiting for a little over a dozen positions. Do you want to share about those? Yeah, so the state of Montana has about a thousand position, uh, teacher position vacancies. We are very fortunate to only have 14. Um, in the past, for the past um, month and a half, my team has done a phenomenal job with principals uh, interviewing actively. So we reduced the number from about 70 uh, uh, vacancies to 14. And even if we have, right now we have 14, we're actively looking, but we're uh, also looking on ways that we can consolidate services for students. So that way we don't increase the student teacher ratio. We mm -hmm. don't want to have classes in elementary with 35 kids, but at the same time, uh, being able to balance out the numbers because you know we don't have the counts right now. We're waiting for the first day of school to start getting down counts. We have projections, and with those official counts, we'll be able to balance out the teacher-student ratio. Uh, but we're very close uh, from being uh, fully uh, staffed. We only have one uh, position open for transportation, which I think is a is a great thing too. Okay, Dr. Garcia, thank you so much for uh, coming in and sharing and hope everybody's excited for next week back in class. Thank you, Augusta. We'll thank be you. back right after this.